sailing gear. Now that's what I like. Real 90s vintage. So we're going, we're going that way right now. We got the fisherman with the corn pipe fishing on the boat. Guy, he's uh, shooting the pheasants. I don't know if you can see that. Mike Jackson in this sweater right here. Back at it with Lawrence, AKA Rich Future. Hit you with the hill figure. Y'all talking all this low. What about hill figure? Justice classic, right? Yeah, let my man get in the game. Don't don't leave him out. <laughs> don't fake, don't fake on it. All right, so he's a um Lawrence is a a hill figure collector, but you you grab up other stuff too, you know? Right? Yeah, man, I'm uh got a wide variety of pieces and collections I got going, Brooks Brothers, Benjamin Bixby, you know, whatever things fly, you know what I mean? All right, let, let us see a couple to start with so we see what you're working with. All right, so the first one, just want to jump out with the first uh, uh, hill figure piece. If you guys remember this, it was a piece that Fuba and hill figure had. The classic knit with the Chanel letters in the front and back. And we got all the colors. My mom told me, you find a piece you like, get all the colors, you feel me? So we coming out the box with the hell figure. I can dig it. I I tell you what I noticed from the jump, um, I see the light um like shining through the um the fabric, right? Uh-huh. Is that a is that a nice knit? Uh without question. This is a classic vintage. And you know, back then, there wasn't no cutting no corners with the quality. All right, so how long you been, how long you been doing this, man? Well, you know, been going hard since about 2005, 2007. But we used to wear this through high school, you know, Nautica, Polo, you know, the classic 90s that's what we came up doing so that's the essence for us mm -hmm. what made you stick with it though a lot of people like left that back then you know oh yeah what well, i said i picked it back up around 2005 2007 like you know everybody quit wearing them for a minute but uh i moved back to the midwest i was out east for a little bit and there was a um outlet mall around here and i went to the tommy store just walking around just brought back some old memories i'm like why we quit wearing this stuff still fly, you know what I mean? Did a proper research and see that, you know, the old wives tell, Tommy said this, Tommy said that. But, you know, we know that's not the truth. So I went back to the to my foundation, you feel me? Tell that story for those who don't know, like what um allegedly, you know, Tommy said. Well, you know, they was just coming out the box saying Tommy was racist and he didn't want black people wearing his clothes, so... You know, everybody put a pause on supporting his brand for years, you know what I mean? Uh, including myself. But as I said before, um, sometimes you got to think for yourself. And um, I was thinking like, okay, if he said it, at least he's standing on the square. You feel me? So many uh, other designers that probably feel that way and haven't said it, that we're supporting. So on the back end, you you think that um, you doing the right thing, but you're still supporting the racist if you even if, if said it or not. So sometimes, like I said, you got to think for yourself and do your proper research. And he was on Oprah. They had an interview on Oprah, and it was, it was already put out on the table that he didn't go that route, so he didn't say that. So that's why I went back to it. Yeah, it wasn't true. My thing is this: um, how much, how much love should a designer have? For the for the people who um consume their goods, like can they just be indifferent? Is indifference good enough, or do they have to like love? You know, well, they definitely should hate. As we them, know, right? as we know, it's just one race, and that's the human race. You know what I mean? So everybody's gonna have some sort of feelings or um, influences or stereotypes they have in their mind. So I can't go wherever that man or that woman how they feel. And so as a consumer, as I said before, you have to think for yourself and make your own decisions. 
Um, if it's a brand you like, it's a brand you rock with, win, lose, or draw, you're going to rock with it. You know what I mean? So I think the designers, they're going to be plugged in irregardless because we're all human. So they're going to feel some kind of way or have different influences, but as long as it doesn't spill spill out and he, he don't cross the line, he or she don't cross the line and be disrespectful, I think that you can have an amicable relationship between a consumer and a designer or a brand. All right, cool. Let's get a look at some more. Okay, okay. So then we're going to the um, Big Crest. You know what I'm saying? Just a classic Big Crest knits. As I said before, got all the colors. Feel me? One of my favorite pieces. Just coming out the box. You could dress it up or dress it down. Uh, this one is actually like a mock, mock neck, turtleneck style. The big crest. You know what I mean? I like that collar, man. Oh, yeah. It's like a, you know, turtleneck, mock neck. You know what I'm saying? It's going crazy. crazy. Where would you find that? Like, where do you where do you find these? Um, I get a lot of pieces off eBay. You know, Instagram opened up the world to everybody. So I think this piece is a... Uh, 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 eBay cop, and it's my favorite, the purple joint. Monogram. I don't know if y'all could check that out. Got the big crest in there with the purple. You know, purple's a color of royalty, you feel me? So you coming exactly. out the box like that. Exactly. So I had to have that when I seen that. So I wanted to show, I wanted to show um, love to the low heads, you feel me? I got a, I got a partner who really heavy on the vintage low, and he, he, he put me on to um the low lights and all that so i wanted to come out the out the gate with um the same style but on the hill figure style so you know i just start collecting like that um and so like i said you know i yeah. want I why you think why you think they're not they there aren't like um it, it seems like the hill figure crews aren't as visible um i just think i think i think they have been you know, really solidified it as a as a group. You know what I mean. So, like I said, with Instagram, it kind of opened up the box for me. I've been able to, you know, align with a lot of different other collectors. It's a lot of different Tommy collectors. You know, when uh, ASAP ASAP and them came on the scene, you know, Tommy A started picking up some speed again. You feel me? So it's like it's some decent co collectors out there. Um, but as far as you know, formulating a whole a whole group or camp, I just think it's just too far spread. And we know how, you know, the low lives that came out of the same central area of New York City. And I know they're international now, but, you know, it was just a more of a better um, congregation. You know what I mean? They was able to solidify themselves a lot better than, than have it all spread out like like that. So you, you didn't have too many hill figure collectors, just specifically hill figure. So I think that's what separates the two. So for, it's more a matter of proximity. In my opinion. What you got, man? Okay, next joint. Another big, big logo, Hill Vicar Fraternity. You know, what we call Hill, Hill, Hill Illuminati. You feel me? Illuminati. Hill put it, put that a little closer. Put it, put it closer. All right. Just pour it out the way. So it's a big, big crest. Um, you know, got the big patch on there, stitched, you know, a lot of, a lot of care went into that. Again, when we're talking about the vintage, you know, it's a lot of quality and they didn't cut any corners in any way. You feel like it's any different now? Um, yeah, yeah, I do. I don't, I don't buy a lot of, uh, I do have one piece I'll show a little later. That's one of the modern pieces, but. I try to stick with a lot of the vintage, um, but it's still quality, but it's just not the same. Um, you know, a lot of the pieces fit a lot bigger. Um, you know, now we have a lot more uh, slim fit, um, slim cut, that kind of thing. So uh, a, a medium right now in the vintage could fit like a large or an XL, but if you get a medium right now, it's a real medium or even a small, you know what I mean? And you know, Hill Figure came with a lot of the gear was putting his name all over it. All over it's another it. one uh -huh. of my favorites. With the 
The small crest. Move it, move it, yeah, move it, move it a little closer. See that texture. Yeah. Yeah. You know, see, see the crest on there. Yeah. Going back to the colors, you know, the red, white, and the blue flag. Yeah. You know what I mean? So just a little and classic. Leaves. Classic. Flex, show, show, the, nah, show that sleeve. Show that sleeve, though. I like that. Oh, yeah. You got the. Or is that the rib the or the sleeve? Yeah, yeah. it's rib and the sleeve. Yeah. And then you got underneath the armpit, you know, again, a lot of attention to detail back then. Like I said, I seen how all the low heads coming correct, you know what I mean? I just want to interject that Tommy wasn't no slouch either, you feel me? Um, <laughs> now we're going, we're going to go to some of the um, monogram pieces. You got the fisherman with the corn pipe fix it, fishing on the boat. That's heavy. Oh, That's yeah. heavy. Move, move that joint a little closer. Look. Oh, yeah. 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 Got the water, the ore, you know. Yeah. Again, another co cotton piece, you know what I mean? Um, I see you, Um, I see you like those Ziplocs, too. Oh, we got to have them, man. It's a mandatory thing. Yeah. Can you tell the difference when you don't, like, like really store your stuff the right way? Nah, I don't. I, I mean, I got, again, I got a lot of pieces, so I got more pieces that I want to keep that's in the boxes or the bags. I got the trunks, you know what I mean? So sometimes I just have some that I wear every day so I, I don't never get to the bags. But it's that's another hot. piece. It's, it's a um guy, he's uh, shooting the pheasants. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Now, how... How old is that? This piece, I couldn't tell yeah. you the time frame, but you know we going all the way back to the nineties on this, on this, all okay. this vintage hill figure, man. So I'm okay. saying early nineties. Is he still doing stuff like that? Um, yeah, like I said, I got a piece that I'm gonna show a modern piece that's kind of a. I also like couches, you know, the couch and sweaters with the full zip, and so I, I have some pieces that have some monogram on there, but. I don't think too many pieces. It's another line that I don't think too many people really went to, which is a Tommy surplus. I never and even heard of it. Yeah. yeah, this see this is a um cow cowboy looking at the cattle on the fence. You feel me? Yeah. Turn around to the back. Got the full motif going. Yo, you putting me on. I didn't know I didn't know they did stuff like that. Oh yeah, Tommy Surplus, man. He got a lot of a lot of pieces like that. Now was uh, that was that was that his answer to um maybe something something Ralph was doing? Or... To 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 be honest with you, he came with a lot of different angles. You know what I mean? He had to I'm gonna show you, I got a piece right here. The selling gear, uh Tommy Outdoors, um I'm gonna show you another piece where he had the international games, you know. So he had a, had a lot of little angles he came from. It's another nice little piece. It's a navy. Got navy on the sleeves here, but he got the World War II planes. Yeah, he was getting busy. Oh yeah, he was man. getting busy. Oh, yeah, he was getting busy. How do you wear those? What would you What would you play with with those? Um, with, with something like this, I'm going to come, you know, it's going to be the central piece. So I'll, obviously me in the Midwest, you know, we're going to layer it up. So I'm going to have a nice little overcoat with that. Um, some of the pieces I'll show another piece. We'll have a nice a matching brim or an, another a vintage hill figure uh, brim. You feel me? But, you know, a, a jean or a boot. Uh, one thing about it, I love slacks, a, a nice slack too. So I can wear a nice slack with this. Or a sneaker, like I said, depending on how you're feeling that day, you could dress it up, dress it down. But, you know, like I said, I'm just jumping out, just showing them how I'm feeling that day. It's another little kind of uh, motif. It's a fisherman. You got the fishing pole. You got the fish up here. You got the tackle box. 
you know and then you got the then you got the plaid to like to to finish oh, it yeah. off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That joint got plaid. It's got it's that like cable knit on yep. the bottom. Yeah, cable knit. Um, another one of my top top favorite pieces is this. Uh, you know, like I said, the red, white, and the blue. Tommy came with the just the classic flag. Another cable knit piece. Yeah, and this um this is a cardigan. I want to show. Got the flag here. You know what I mean. Got so, the so he had modifi he had modifications of his logo. And on the back, you got the stars. Well, let nah, me, not let for me real. see the. That was just. I think that just came with the. That's just. If you see, that's not a modification. It's just his flag, his Tommy flag. Okay. So you know, okay. obviously the crest is the big initial sign, but the Tommy flag is essential now. Like I said, more modern in peace. They got the little little flag there. You know what I mean. Next, we want to jump to the uh, vintage hill figure. It's big on color blocking. So I just want to show this classic yeah. look. Piece. I remember stuff like that. Let me see the sleeve of that. The, I want to show the, the the brim. I got the brim to go with it. This is a vintage wool. long bill wool. You know what I mean? I said, yeah, move it, move, move it a little closer so I can see kind of like the texture. Yeah. Now that's what I'm into. Yeah, man. Um, so uh, like I said, just over the years, you know, you, I'm still interested. I'll be finding pieces I've never seen before. I had this for a while, but I've had the hat first and I, then I saw the sweater. Just, I got to have it because I had the hat. I didn't know he had it like that. You know what I mean? Same colors. And we coming correct. So next you got the sailing gear. Now that's what I like. That had me open when I saw stuff like that as a young boy. Yeah. Yeah. This that is drew. real. This is like you said, this is real 90s vintage. And so we're going, we're going that way right now. Yeah. Stuff you can't. It's a sweater on top of that. Oh yeah, stuff you can't get away move, from. Move, move that, move it. Hey, move it, move it a little closer. I want. That had me hooked. That and then jackets that looked like that. Yeah. And so with that piece, we're gonna just jump to another classic. Tommy, again, just plain and simple, but. You're not gonna find pieces like this in this condition in this this day and age. So we got that one. Okay, okay, yeah. So we just going, like I said, you find a piece you like, get all the colors, you know what I mean? Get the white joint, yeah. classic yeah. look, hell figure. Yeah. You know what I mean? And what's dope oxygen. about that, what's dope about that is um all of the um the letters are woven in. It's oh, not yeah. it's not oh, an yeah. application. No, 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 no. These pieces is real official, you know what I mean? Like I'm just trying to show y'all, you're not going to see pieces like this right now and in your average collection, you know what I'm saying? I like that. Word, And, word. and let, me, let, me, let me make a comment about that one right there. Hold it up a second. Hold it forward. You know, a lot of times I talk about how I'm not into the logo and I talk balance. I get kind of technical. Look, here's the difference. This right here, right, is yeah. um yeah. is done almost like a logo. Like when you look at the um the space of the lines, like that yellow border, right? Right. Like how right. thick it is. It's done. It's done. Um, I feel like it's it's superior as a as a graphic. Like if you examine that as a graphic artist, mm -hmm. that's more iconic than say like a lot of the Ralph um graphics that I feel like is you know too much. You know. It's just like co the colors are simplified. Right. Um, the line, the line weight is heavy. You know what I'm saying? The proportion, you know, it's just, it's just dope. But look, yeah, like just yeah, thinking yeah. about it technically, 
nah, you know, nah. there's something to say. And, that, and those two things right there is the oars. We just talked about the selling gear. That wasn't a selling gear piece, but here goes another piece where, like you said, it's a mock neck. Got the Tommy Hill figure with all the oars on there, you know. So, like you said, with your American layers, all things Americana, he kind of kept the same consistency throughout, you know what I mean, his pieces, you know. It's another um, nice piece. It's not a sweater, but it's a, it's a vest, cable knit vest, but it's a tennis. There's another variation to a logo, Dave, feel me? You got the, you got the tennis rackets, the hill figure still with the crest on there, you know? This one dead stock, I found this dead stock. You feel me? So you did you you, you ain't even wear that yet, dang. Not yet. Another one, another one of my um favorite top pieces. This is also dead stock. 96, 96 international games. With a roll collar. Oh yeah, my neck. And if you and you do your research, you got a whole line with this with jackets, um, uh, shirts on it. So this is one of the sweaters. And anytime I try to find something, if it's dead stock, man, I I, I pull the trigger immediately. But this is a beautiful piece right here. He'll figure in national games. Um, I got two more, two more I want to show. Three more. This is um. I think it's a bootleg piece, but it's still nice. You can see kind of the difference in the tag. That's what I got. Uh -huh. I've been thinking, but it's a uh, yeah. Uh, it be a navigator, so, but it's all, but it's all stitched, like you said. It's woven within the sweater, with the with the Tommy flag. So on the um, sailing gear tip, I think with the navigator word, you got the anchor on the on the sleeve. Is, so let's 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 talk about that for a second. Um, okay. So you feel like a, a scammer? A scammer got you? Well, I mean, I, I I didn't feel got because it's still history. It's still a nice piece. And like I said, if it was like a flimsy piece, I probably would have felt some kind of way. But this is a nice cotton, hundred percent cotton sweater. It's official, and anything I can wear that I know nobody else gonna have. So I was cool with it. But I just wanted to put that out there. Um, just for the the people watching, you know what I mean. So, this is a piece you probably won't, you won't see again. So I'm gonna stand on my square on this one right here. You feel me? Nah, I feel you. Yeah, it all it all depends on like um what your thoughts were when you grabbed it. You know. Yeah, I, I mean, I bought it and I was looking at it, but you know, there's nothing you could do after this purchase in your hand. So you know, I don't try to I try to protect my energy as much as possible. You feel me? So it's like what why why get mad? You know what I'm saying? It's just a couple of dollars. And I did have the piece, you know. They probably didn't know. I'm a collector, and so they don't go into as much detail as I would of seeing it. They just see the Tommy Hilfiger sign, Tommy Hilfiger on the on the sweater. They just trying to right. sell a piece. You know what I mean? Trying so like it that, yeah, everybody's not as, you know, saying intentional. You know what I mean? You do have a lot of scammers, but I don't think it was intentional from this particular person. I buy a lot from them and we, you know, we three hundred, so I'm not tripping. Right, and you figure as a collector, like, yo, I'm, I'm going to hold on to that, yo. Oh, yeah, without question, yeah. I, could, I had to have it, you know what I mean? Plus, it was already in my hands, so nothing I could do about it, you know what I mean? Nah, I so, um, so, I guess the last piece I want to show you is a piece I never thought I had. Um, if you guys know anything about some of the, um, you know, iconic visuals from over the years, you know, you had Mike Jackson in this sweater right here. He wore this with with his pair with his pair of slacks and a pair of loafers. I was able to get this piece. You know, so I was very excited about having this because sometimes you'll see things you 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 just don't think that you ever put it, get your hands on them. You know what I mean? But I was able to get this piece and this this killer right here. You know, that's probably one of my sought after. One of my what's, yeah. What's the hardest? Top team. Grail. What's the hardest you went to um to get a certain piece? Um, you know, just probably just breaking bread. You know, what I'm saying probably more than the average person would do. Um, my my most favorite hill figure piece is not a, it's not a knit. It's actually um a, a hockey jersey. 
If you guys are familiar with uh, the a Mariah Fantasy video, ODB wore a hockey jersey, and I, I bought that off eBay, eBay and uh, you know I broke bread for it because I wanted it. It was in excellent condition. It's my number one piece out of my whole collection. Um, and it's the hockey jersey he wore in that fantasy remix video joint. It's cold. How many how many pieces you think you have? Like Um, I'm sitting on I'm sitting on a lot. You know what I'm saying? I know last time we talked we did the interview with Michael Layers, I was talking about thousand, um, which you know, we very, <laughs> very, very close to that when we include, you know, ties and this and this and that. But even what I showed you now, we went through a cool 30, 40 pieces that quick, you know what I mean? So it can add up quick. So I'm sitting on a lot as far as button ups, sweaters, shoes, you know, lids, you know what I mean? What, what, what they call crowns, you know what I mean? So I'm definitely, you know, thousand, fifteen hundred easy. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You deep. Now what you what you showed me yesterday, um, was that or the other day, was that the storage like Oh yeah, yes, man. That right. was just that was just uh when you was asking like you know just to give you a, a preview and then even then when you say yo let's do it I'm scrambling to find what I wanted to show you know what I mean so I just got a lot of stuff just piled piles of clothes um still trying to get through it my my original goal even with next year is to scale it down I want to get to maybe um you know a good fifty seventy five pieces and just start letting some pieces go I'm to the point where. I don't wear all the pieces and it's just not, it's not that deep to me to keep all the stuff, man. My wife has been very patient with me. As you can imagine, my basement looks like a, a, a rag house, you know what I mean? But so I'm trying to just get some organization in the crib, you know what I mean? And I, I don't wear all the pieces. So it's like, why well, have them all? You know what I mean? So I'm going to get down to my like top 50, 75. And I'm, I'm including that in the outerwear and all that. Like, I got so many pieces, man. Like, he'll figure, like I said, he'll figure is my thing. And I'm com I'm coming out the box That's like the low heads do. And, you know, we peeling. I'm putting together, together whole outfits, the collections, you know what I mean? Just how, just how they do. But it's all it's all Tommy. Yeah. Yo, I don't, I, man, I, I no disrespect, but I don't know if it's going to last, man. You really think you're going to be able to stick with 50, 70, 50, 75 pieces. Oh, yeah, man. Like I said, man, it's just, like I said, man, I'm 40 years old, bro. You feel me? So it's like, it ain't nothing to prove no more. People know what's going on, um, and they, they know who I am. You know what I'm saying? So I don't got too much to prove to nobody. So it's just like, I'm with my own peace of mind, and just going down to my basement, I'm tired of looking at all the stuff. You know what I mean? Sometimes you'll be down there just folding clothes all day, moving stuff to this side of the room come back the next day, move it back to you where you just folded it from. It's like, it's just too much. So I thought about getting the storage. Um, I don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to last because it's always more to cop. That's the thing. I'm never going to stop buying. I'm a consumer. I, I admit to it. I don't try to shy from it. So I'm going to keep buying regardless. As I said before, this is just one of my collections. It's hill figure, but I got other, other things I buy and that's just what I got going on, man. Like I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna fake it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do what I do. Stay true to me. You know what I mean, I'm not gonna put nobody. No doubt, man. I appreciate you doing this it. Is, oh yeah, one, one more. Um, the couch, the couch and sweater. You asked if it, this is one of the modern pieces, kind of, kind of a boat motif. Um, I wear this all the time. Full zip. Wow. Wow. So he, he does he does he does That's he hot. does have some modern pieces with, with this with this breakdown on the two. Do, I wanna show that. Do me a favor, zip hold up now, zip 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 it up and then let me see it again, please. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so you were saying that you, you, you saw some pieces you never saw before tonight? Yeah, definitely. I didn't know. I didn't even know he did some of that stuff, like the one with the um with the airplanes and in the hunter, I like that too, man. Yeah, that's the um, surplus, man. Is a piece I'm looking for still. Like I said, still pieces I'm I'm chasing too. You know what I mean? Like I said, but it's a it's one where it's a um a, a Indian and he's he's I got a born arrow. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get that one. Yeah.
That's a Tommy surplus. Yeah, I got to check for that. But yeah, I appreciate it, bro. Um, word, word, word. Yeah, let my man in the game, man. Don't don't forget about him. Like I said, Tommy the GOAT, greatest of all time. You hear me? Greatest of all time. Yo, um, you at um Rich Future on Instagram, right? Yeah, Rich Future Instagram, and you can check. You, you, I'm selling my pieces too. I got pieces for sale, so you can go to um, buy fashion, buy faster fashion house. So it's ff underscore fashion house. You know what I mean? Just reach out to me, and you look, you look at something you see you like. I'll let you.